Hey everyone, this is Uthras. Welcome back to Let's Build Lothloria, episode 58. Uh, so last episode, we kind of worked more on Gwyndale, the farming village outside of the limits of Lothloria and their main protection. Just a small little farming town. Um, not... I mean, it would be considered a fief, but they're, they're definitely really far out and away from protection. Off camera, I went ahead and built another home near the Baron's Villa. And this is, uh, it's pretty nice. Not very often I use a staircase right in the entryway, but uh, I think it worked really well here. Windows, okay view. Uh, not the best. Well, this one's okay, actually. You can just see kind of the entrance and a good bit of greenery from the trees. Uh, back here, you can see back into the town, uh, the road that goes by. Upstairs, it's, again, no third floor or loft. It's just uh, an open area. Another really nice view of the villa and a nice overlooking view of the town or village it's not the town it's a village I i'm so used to saying town when we're actually building the actual city of la floria gave them a deck rather than a balcony and i think it looks pretty nice and yeah it's a pretty straightforward building not much to it really and if we head over here, back over to Gwendale. Uh, I mean, I need to sculpt the uh, river at some point, make the road, a couple bridges, uh, things like that. But I went ahead and added a couple more tiers for farmland, and then built another small farmer's hut. Added onto the log cabin, I went ahead and got rid of the wooden supports, brought up the ground level, so it actually just looks like it's built flat onto the dirt here. Uh, yeah, mainly just a lot of wooden supports up here. Um, it's kind of like an upper loft area. Don't really have any ladders to get to it. It just makes the building look a little bit more sound, I think. See, what else, what else, what else? Get rid of the windmill, as you can see. Because that's going to be rebuilt. And it's basically going to be a downgraded windmill. It's going to be far less attractive than the others. But I don't think that's what we're going to be doing this episode. This episode, we're going to be working on the actual bandit camp, bandit fortress, what have you call it. Um, I'm thinking, so I cleared out this area here. Let me see if there's an invisible wall. Okay, we got plenty of room. I'm probably going to dig into the mountainside a little bit, make a cave. Uh, some wooden fortifications. Uh, nothing too stone-like. It's going to look fairly similar to the destroyed fortress near the lake, but... Um, I'm going to have to try and make it look a little bit different, at least. And the way I'm going to do that, I think, is introducing kind of these wooden towers. Um, so instead of using stone for these, there's just going to be a nice wooden base. Let's see if I can place this. Sometimes I think my toggle for placing blocks and other blocks get stuck for some reason. I don't know if that's a known issue or not. But, uh, yeah, just something that happens. It's weird. Anyways, uh, we're going to build kind of a wooden tower here. And I think we need one more of these. Kinda wish 
If it would light up in this direction, kind of parallel to the mountainside. Um, but we're just gonna have to do what we can with what we got. So it's gonna have a wooden palisade or palisade, however you say it, I forget. And then also these wooden towers, uh, some minor wooden buildings, maybe small little huts tucked away into the mountainside. Tell you what, I can make a wooden wall here if I do it right. Okay, that looks interesting. And if I spin this around like so, I might be able to fit a staircase up onto this tower. Like that. So the wooden palisade is going to be on top of this. And that wooden section is just a walkway. And this is how I did most of the wooden walls for most of the forts. Basically, I just kind of spaced them out to begin with and then I sew up the gaps and make it all fit together that way it looks a little bit more organic it's not just a straight line of these things and um, that just I think looks better in general it's fine to have a bit of randomness because I mean humans don't always build things perfectly I'm gonna keep it at a, at a kind of a lower wall I mean, these guys just need the initial high ground, even though, I guess technically due to, to do the terrain, they lose it almost instantly, uh, but it, I guess maybe it's just to prevent people from just waltzing in. Let's go ahead and place the pathway up to this one. Now, a shame that we don't have a hard angle kind of 45 degree angle cut for these pathways. So I'm just gonna have to use what I can to make it work. And it may look a little wonky and not quite perfect, but that's just the limitations of the blocks that we have right now. Uh, double staircase, why not? of that, replace that with a full tile. I might make the the wooden part of the palisade actually a little bit taller. Uh, at least waist height. I mean, something to duck behind because right now it's really no support there. These are actually going to be a little bit rounded off, which will be nice. And then what I can also do, just so it's not too brown, um, I 
we'll go ahead and use some stonework. At least to make it look like it's being supported fairly solidly. If that's a word, I don't, I don't know anymore. Let's see. Wrap that corner around, bring it over to there. The towers might have uh, taller, even taller sections of these round timbers. But, of course, got to build up the base first. And then just kind of add on to what we already have. I think that looks interesting. Not going to have a front entrance. We're going to have side entrances, I think. Or an open entrance. That might be better and a little bit more sense in terms of, uh, you know, what these guys can actually build and afford to build. I mean, bandits, they don't really have the best resources at their disposal. So, I think that'll be okay. Now you'll notice I fly around a lot and you might think that I'm not really doing anything but talking and floating around and being chill um, but I'm, I'm really looking at this from all angles to making sure I like it and I do that for most of my buildings so it, it does slow down the progress but uh, I think it's a necessary step Where'd my railings go? Again, really wish they had rounded uh, versions of the railings, but uh, it was suggested to actually just use these timber pieces to build kind of my own. I'm gonna try that real quick. That. That'll have to be it. Shape-wise. And then they also wanted to use rope as a railing, which is logical. Um, I can't just like attach it to the top here. It needs to have two points kind of like this. And that's because I can't connect two ropes to the same rope loop. So I don't know if I like this aspect of it. It's kind of the reason I haven't done it before, because I knew this would look a little wonky. So as you can see, it's just, it's not quite right. So what I might have to do, well, shit. That's the problem with using wooden blocks too. Um, I don't know if it's just my save or what, but sometimes when I delete them and they're connected to others, it makes the whole thing physics enabled and it just breaks. Huh, oh, that's kind of nice. Get a little area under here. Net intentional at all. So I'm going to go ahead and do a time stick here. Um, I'm not really getting much done. So I'm going to do a little bit of focused work. And we'll come back to see what we got. So be right back. Okay, everyone. So this is uh, pretty much what I've been working on for a while. I haven't really come up with a definitive design yet. Especially for what's going inside the area. But uh, at least we have... 
a lot of the wall up and looking pretty nice made an old entryway threw a bunch of rocks at it made it look uh, pretty battered and torn extended this wall down to connect to the hill and haven't done this side just yet I'm still trying to figure out what to do with the staircase since that's just going to be the only entrance this side will probably I think the easiest would just be put a staircase going down this side here and uh, making it wrap around I think we'll have to put the wall up. So if I suddenly go quiet, I'm, I'm still thinking on how I want this to look and uh, feel for when people come over and actually kind of stumble upon it. Um, yeah, something like that's okay. And then I might add a second layer of defense just on top of the hill above the cave we are going to be making. Uh, I think voxel hands would be necessary here. So they probably just found an abandoned mine and that's how they, I guess, came over to this territory or why they came over to this territory. We'll go ahead and carve that out just a little bit. Just to give us a reference point on where things are going to be going. Don't need to put in any details just yet. That's definitely the entryway. Might put a small little blacksmithing area over here. Small storage shed and upper kind of watch area. The mine and that'll have rooms and things like that. I think very Skyrim-esque. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll just keep kind of working on it for the remainder of the vid video. So I don't know how I feel about the stonework. I mean, I, I like mixing it in. That way it's just not the same color all the way around. Added the upper parts to part of the palisade. And that's just, you know, to kind of show how haphazardly built this whole thing is. So there's gaps in it. It's not 100% effective, but it definitely, you know, would provide some protection. And it's better than nothing. I doubt they would have too many complaints about it. Obviously not the best defensive position in terms of just location in general. Uh, I mean, if you had a hundred archers, you could just pelt this thing for back here. But, uh, you know, who said bandits are smart? They, well, you would have to be pretty smart to build out here. That's all I'm going to say, I guess. You have to be pretty smart to get it all to work and uh, make money off of it and survive without getting caught. So they probably uh, raid the Gwendale Fief a lot from here. It's kind of their point of operations. Kind of see how big it is in terms of scale. Might add an extra tower here. That way we at least have four at least kind of even on both sides. Um, this is pretty much going to do it for this episode in terms of building. I'll go ahead and just kind of fly through the valley. It's been a while since I've done so. So, you know, you guys can kind of enjoy the sights. I'm thinking there should be some buildings around the Mage Tower at some point. If you guys have anything to suggest for that. Uh, I could put some manor houses or... Uh, 
something. It just looks a little bared over there to have this grand structure. Oh man, I'm yawning. Grand structure just kind of sticking out in the middle of nowhere. Again, we'll just fly over this town. Haven't decided what to call it. I've gotten one suggestion and um, so far it looks like that one will probably win out. But if you guys have any other suggestions for this area of the map, you can let me know. Uh, that way, at least, you know, there's something to decide on. Uh, the lake, as always, dried up, as always. Good old uh, tournament grounds. It's been a while since I've done anything with market stalls. We've got our wonderful windmills. Uh, the water wheel is spinning still. It's always a good sign. Frames is dropping a little bit. I still really love this area. Um, I haven't actually worked on it since the other video. Still need greenery and finish up these little structures here. And I still need to finish the wall. Uh, I mean, as much as I want to say we're near the end of the series, it just feels like there's so much more to do, but... I don't know how well of it gets recorded for YouTube. So, we'll see if you guys want a detail episode of me just kind of walking around and putting a bunch of detail around and rambling on for 30 minutes at a time. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Tomorrow's going to be more Terra Firmacraft. If you guys haven't checked it out, please do so. Um, it, it's a mod for Minecraft that I really enjoy. It, it completely changes how you play the game and takes a little bit more of a realistic spin on things. So if you guys are enjoying this, I think you would like that as well. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.